How's it going, everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and today I am reviewing LEGO Architecture Set 21051. This is Tokyo, and this is a part of LEGO Architecture's 2020 Skyline series line. Now, this set retails for, I believe it is $80 Canadian and $70 in the United States, though it might be $60 in the US, and uh, it comes with 547 pieces. This is an absolutely gorgeous Skyline set, probably my favorite in the Skyline series. So let's just jump right into this review. So guys, this Tokyo Skyline set consists of a bunch of buildings. It's probably one of the most jam-packed architecture Skyline sets that there are. And so starting on the left here, we have the big red and white tower on the left is the Tokyo Tower. Uh, then the one next to it, which is also quite tall, is the Mode Gokin Cocoon Tower, which is also home to a university in Japan. Uh, then next to that, we have the Lego replica of Chidoragafuchi Park, and I probably totally butchered that name, but Chidoragafuchi Park uh, with the cherry blossoms and the temple in the background there. Uh, as we continue to move across here, uh, on the rightermost side, we have the Tokyo Sky Tree, which I have actually been to. We also have the Shibuya Crossing here uh, down on the uh, lower right with the crosswalks and then also all the very bright and colorful light district buildings surrounding it. And then lastly, over here on the right-hand side, we have the Tokyo Big Site. Uh, also worth noting is Mount Fuji in the background. And they don't disclose what this temple building off to the left is, which I think is unfortunate. I would like to know about it, as it is, of course, included in this set as well. So as with all architecture skyline sets, this is on a hand-built base plate of sorts with the city name there on a printed tile piece at the front and then the various buildings popping up out of the tile base display. So going through the buildings here one by one, starting on the left hand side with this unnamed, uh, it looks like a very traditional Japanese style temple building, uh, I think it does a very good job at being both minimalistic and kind of evoking the style that it's going for. Uh, nothing too special here, a bunch of two by two plates with the centered stud and then one by ones just to create this uh, staggered tower effect. So not too much to talk about there. Then we have the Tokyo Tower here and I think they did an excellent job at replicating this in terms of color and scale and using some really creative building techniques here, specifically at the bottom, uh, the way that they've managed to put this almost on like a diagonal as, as it's like kind of got almost a star base appearance. And then the use of uh, this build section with a core technique uh, piece to allow you to have this part of the build be inverted uh, to create that upward slope there. I think again really well done and it also allows the top of the antenna to attach there. So a really good job with Tokyo Tower. Then moving on to the Mode Gokin Cocoon Tower. Uh, these are printed pieces there on the side. No stickers in the Skyline sets that I'm aware of. And so anything in here is printed pieces. And these are really nice printed pieces to kind of get that curtain wall glass feel but also have all the different crazy uh, angled patterns that the build has in real life with the kind of white cross bracing. So I think a really good job with that there and an excellent job at evoking the subtle curves of the tower as it really does curve outward and then back inward in real life. I think it's fantastic how they did this again using a technique core and then those uh, triangular, or I shouldn't say triangular, but uh, three prong technique pieces in the center to connect then to these uh, built out pieces on the side. A really, really ingenious job at designing this. And then also a kind of a nice job at patching in the sides as best they could there with the rounded one by ones. I think this is a really fantastic build that looks great in person. 
uh, better so than even on the box and again really does a good job at emulating the buildings in real life I should mention I'm a huge architecture fan and I'm a building fan so you know I have a lot of technical understanding of buildings and so I really really do appreciate these skyline sets for that and I think they do an excellent job at recreating a lot of these buildings and I'm continually impressed at how they can do it in such a micro scale so moving on to the park which I will not even try to pronounce because I know I will butcher it uh, I, excellent excellent job with the subtle temple in the background there uh, the temple gate to the park I, I it looks really good and uh very similar to the temple gate from the chinese new year set that i have sitting above me but it's in that more japanese architecture style and again an excellent job to do it in a very small amount of pieces i know it's a little dark back there because of the angle and i apologize for that uh, but i think it looks really good and it consists of these black pieces and then some dark brown and the cherry blossom trees are really really simple with those six uh, prong flower plants and then just the little flower one by ones stuck on top but they do a great job at, at filling their purpose and and looking on the point so i think that's really good as well then for shibuya crossing again i think they did a really good job with this uh, not just getting the crossing in there which is an iconic intersection in japan but the use of all these color bright colorful pieces and printed pieces to uh, evoke the very light district feel in Tokyo because you know Tokyo's light district is obviously very famous for all its neon signs bright colors technology all that stuff and so to bring both of those together into the Shibuya crossing here I think is uh, a really really well done and again uses just some of these really transparent neon colored pieces and then also in conjunction with you know these nice printed tile pieces i think it's so excellently done it looks great and it might be my favorite part of the set it just fills it out so nicely uh, so i'm a really big fan of how it all looks the tokyo big site is the one building here that i feel like maybe misses the mark a little bit and i understand that it's a very iconic building and not an easy one to recreate uh, and and i think they did a decent job at recreating it the biggest thing that annoys me is the the fact that and i don't know how they would have done it otherwise but the fact that this the plate uh, on the top there is flipped upside down for them to create the roof aesthetic that is in real life uh it just it makes it look a little unfinished and it's it just feels out of place around the rest of the set because you see the underside of a you know four by four lego plate piece and yeah that just feels off to me and i know that they tried uh, but it just something about it just the way it looks because you're often looking you know i'm not looking at it from directly uh, head on i'm often looking at it from the similar angle that the camera is now uh, that's all you really see and so it just doesn't quite work in my opinion but i know what they're going for and i don't know how they could have done any better so i'll let it pass because the rest of the set is so good and then last but not least we have the tokyo sky tree and the way they uh, evoked the kind of metal mega structure that wraps up the base of the building with these uh, flexible uh, cord pieces I guess we'll call them uh, I thought it was really well done and the way that they just all fit snugly in the cone at the top there for the first observation deck it's really really great very few pieces are used in this just a central uh, core technique piece with then these uh, wires uh, we're going to call them up the sides that are very malleable and it allows to create that that look that does a really good job at recreating Tokyo Sky Tree. I mean I don't think you can ever uh, get all the cross bracing and beams and stuff so overall I really like how well they captured that and then a great job as well with both observation decks and how thick the uh, building is between the two observation decks and i believe there's a mass tomb damper up in there too so really great job with that and really unique usage of these uh tire pieces the the inside of the tire uh, i think very creative usage of that and then a uh, really really clean look with the antenna on top as well love how they how they did that uh, overall i think the tokyo sky tree here looks fantastic so big fan of how this works and again having been to japan having been to the tokyo sky tree having been to the lights district having been to a lot of these places i think they did a really fantastic job at recreating tokyo and I guess I can't leave out Mount Fuji either in the background here because I have been to Mount Fuji as well. And it's, it's, it really does. The backdrop here, I wasn't so sure I liked the inclusion of it, but it is a backdrop to the actual city. 
and the way it serves as a backdrop to the skyline set I think is great and I like the proportions here I, I will complain about the fact that it's not perfectly to scale but I do like the proportions of the mountain here I so I think overall it looks really good and some really nice building techniques used with the slanted pieces particularly around here using the the, the downward slant and then the inverted slant pieces to create that uh, layered snow feel on the top really really well done and I really like the mountain so now that I've kind of given you an overview of all the buildings and talked about what they are and how they've been built, uh, quickly we're going to take a look at the box and the instructions and I will give my final thoughts on this set. So taking a look at the instruction book, it is like all Lego architecture instruction books or at least all the Skyline ones. Nice hard seam, love that they're all hard seam and square as all the Skyline sets are. Uh, it's got that very nice black professional feel, again, as all the Skyline sets do. I really like these architecture instruction books. Flip the page and you obviously get a ton of information about uh, Tokyo as a city and then the individual buildings highlighted in this set. Uh, really really like how they did this and i like how they condensed it into less pages you know in the past i felt like we got you know a page for each of them in english a page for each of them in french a page for each of them in spanish it's good of them to fit them all into the same page uh, it kind of keeps the size of the instruction book down and you still get some awesome details and pictures here so really like how that was done as for the instruction books you know what you would expect and then at the end you do get some pictures of other skyline sets on the right and other architecture sets here on the left so overall you know standard instruction book but i really like the way they did the breakdown of the buildings featured in the set uh definitely positive and improvement on that as for the box, again, it's that standard architecture style with the clean black background. Uh, it's the box style that I love that folds open and up. Uh, I really, really wish LEGO did more boxes like this. They're definitely my favorite type of box. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Oh, it does say enjoy your building experience. I did enjoy my building experience, LEGO. Uh, then flip it around to the back here. And again, you have a kind of layout of all the buildings in this set and uh, what they are, you know and also real life pictures of those buildings. So again, really well done with these boxes. Uh, you know, they're nothing extra special, but I think they're clean and to the point and, and they feature all that they need to do. Dimensions are also here on the box. So 11 inches by 10.6 inches. Uh, yeah, overall a standard architecture box, but again, the architecture boxes, I think really have it down right. So overall, I really like this set. Like I said in the intro, guys, I think this is probably my favorite Skyline set. Having been to Tokyo probably helps uh, my appreciation for it, but it just feels so full and so vibrant and full of life without feeling overly claustrophobic. But again, also capturing the, the real dense and full feeling that Tokyo as a city has. There's no wasted space on this base plate. It is all used up uh, and it's used up in multiple dimensions right uh there's stuff in the foreground there's stuff in the background it's jam-packed in here and i absolutely love the final product and how it turns out in particular the the tokyo tower and the tokyo sky tree here look great and the balancing of the three tall towers in this build is excellent in terms of balancing the canvas of this build with it being you know the tallest off here on the right and then two shorter builds being on the left to balance it out so even though you have a higher concentration of density on the left it balances out with the taller on the right just the whole composition and the way it flows the skyline i think it looks absolutely excellent and and that's something that i think sometimes misses the mark is these architecture skyline sets the skyline doesn't always feel that balanced but here the focal point of the skyline the whole way it's laid out, it's so perfectly balanced. It's it's really, really well done. Excellent uh, job at the way they've structured this. So big props to Lego for that. I don't, I assume that they are looking at the balance of the composition when they make these sets. And I just, I think this really hit the mark well. If I have one tiny complaint, it's obviously the scale of this set. You know, the Tokyo Sky Tree is, I think nearly or even more than twice the height of Tokyo Tower. And they're obviously not uh, twice the height here in the set. And I understand that they couldn't do that. Uh, and obviously other Skyline sets are not to scale either. Just look at San Francisco. It's clearly not to scale. Uh, however, it, it's just, it's a small gripe. But again, the fact that the composition balances so nicely here makes up for it. And overall, it's just such a really good set that the fact that it's not perfectly to scale is the last thing I can complain about because this is, it's never going to be perfectly to scale. And it's pretty darn good here. So guys, that's my thoughts on the LEGO Architecture Skyline Series 
Tokyo set. If you guys like this review, click the like button down below to show your support. It's always very appreciated. If you're looking for more reviews, speed builds, Lego content, whatever, it's all available on my channel. I have tons of reviews coming out all the time, new products, new news. Uh, I also cover older sets like this one. So subscribe if any of that interests you because I have a ton of new content coming out every day. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.